Golconda, a 1953 painting by René Magritte, is rich in rhetorical figures and quotes, a metaphor and an allegory of modern life. Magritte explains that an object does not have its name to the point that it cannot be found another one that fits in better. What is the history and meaning of a name and painting? Golconda is a city, now in ruins, located in central southern India. Since the 12th century, the time of its construction, Golconda was famous for the world for the richness of its alluvial diamond deposits. For centuries, the name of Golconda became for Europeans synonymous with incredible wealth. After a period of decline, it was conquered by the great Mughal Aurangzeb, who annexed it to his empire in 1686. Aurangzeb desired the strong citizen for nine months and managed to conquer it only for the betrayal of an officer who opened a secondary entrance. Why then did Magritte think that the name of Golconda fits so well with it, this painting? There are the diamonds, the incredible richness evoked by the very name of a city? The feeling that one has when observing the work is of distressing dissociation and alienation. An endless host of men, all the same, in a bowler hat and dark coat, stand out in the sky and seem to float among the houses of a sad and grey city. Magritte uses the rhetorical figure of the accumulation of icons of small, middle-class Westerners of a white race, probably clerks and officials, judging by the dress codes. The mimetic codes reveal an alien impassivity, an absolute lack of joy, of enthusiasm, but also the absence of sadness or other emotions. All low glances, a mobile facial musculature in an aberrant lack of sensation or feelings. These individuals become an antithesis of what is a human being, alive, enthusiastic, creative, free. By comparison, they recall the combination of dark pieces of a charcoal with sparkling diamonds, what they are and what they could be. the absolute standardization instead of the variegated uniqueness of man. A private individuality is opposed to creative freedom. Someone has betrayed this surrender, as the officer sold to the Grand Mogol and condemned the city, creating an ideal environment for a dictator, Find suitable ground for his absolute power where there is the homologation of foe and behavior. Golconda just became a metaphor for the alienating lifestyle of many modern metropolises, which reduce people to automatons, as well as the allegory of the unhappiness of those who forget their nature as human beings, alive, free, creative, and imitable.